Hello YouTube. Hi. My name's Weird C and here's Lizzie and today we're going to be doing something really weird and possibly dumb. <laughs> a whole lot she of had people, an idea. A lot of people liked the uh, really bad uh, pickup lines. Pick up lines. So I decided oh, yeah. it might be really funny to do really bad sex tips. Oh boy, are you ready for some sex tips? <laughs> These are directly from Cosmopolitan, so that's the even better part. Yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> we're going to be reading uh, sex tips from Cosmo for men. Uh, well, there's for a, men and there's, women, I guess. There's a mixture. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these. Uh, I don't know where they got these, but that's it was, it was a really bad idea. That's a really good idea. You ready for the first one? <laughs> no. Here no. We go. Hold his penis in one hand and lightly slap it with the other. You can tap it back and forth like you're following a tennis ball and lightly pinch the skin on the shaft and testicles. Many women make the mistake of being too gentle. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was the first one. <laughs> Ladies, if you are feeling... <laughs> if you're feeling... <laughs> A little bit too uh, vanilla in the bedroom. The Just castle. take the Get shaft it. and treat it like a tennis racket. Okay, but, like, I can't imagine. Okay, you're like, okay, I'm going to hit this with a tennis racket. And I'm going to swing like this. As per everyone in my high school uh, gym class who didn't know how to play volleyball. And they were like. Not only that. But you also got to pinch the skin a little bit too. <sighs> yeah, because that's going to send some tingles. To Ow. No. <laughs> <laughs> if that hurts, your manly chest has like an appeal on your manly... Uh, Look, listen. Peaches and cream. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard it described as such, but okay. <laughs> it's on Ripper Street. Oh yeah, that's right. That's a good show. You guys should go see Ripper Street. Netflix, go check it out. It's great. <laughs> you ready? No. 34% of guys say they wish a girl would surprise them with oral when they walk in the door. Like, like, no hey. hands down, you walk in, hey, honey, <laughs> pants down, dick in mouth. You think, like. <laughs> you, just think about this, like, you, you know, like a Great Dane, like, you open up the door, and you just, <laughs> and you're just on the ground instantly. Girls just on you, like, boom, knock you down, like, okay, well, neighbors are seeing this, honey, but why the fuck not? There's, <laughs> like, no warning, no, like... No heads up, just honey, I'm gonna, like, no even idea what's about to happen. You walk in, <laughs> you think you're about to sit down, have yourself a Reese's and bun, smack. and smack into the front door, and there's your woman, and she's got her dick, <laughs> your dick in her, her mouth. Her dick in your mouth. Her, her oh dick boy. in your mouth. That's even worse. Ooh, Maybe. I that's, don't know. That's, people, I don't know. That's people not. People have, this kink did not come up <laughs> overnight. Like an ice cube, or iced tea. Kinks like this don't come up overnight. Hold on, hold on, there we go. We can do this. <laughs> Kinks like this don't come up overnight. <laughs> okay, this this one, this one I personally feel offended by. Draw an attention-grabbing circle around your nipples using rhinestones and body glue for a special night in. I have hypersensitivity, so the idea of ripping rhinestones off my boobs is not a pleasant one. <laughs> <laughs> honey, honey, put down the bedazzler. <laughs> honey. Dazzle. Everything. Why stop at the nipples? Why not just coat yourself in fake rhinestones? No, the only th Walk out like... <laughs> no, why even do that? Do one up. Do yourself in rhinestones, then put LEDs right... Giving you a landing a strip light. straight down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, ladies, why stop at that? <laughs> Light your pubes on fire, too, while you're at it. Gotta keep everything warm. Yeah. Nice and toasty. Oh, uh. my God, think about that. <laughs> but, like, not only that, but... Introducing the Vajazzler. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was bad. <laughs> then you made it worse. <laughs> I'm coming out with the Vajazzler now. I'll make thousands. Hundreds. Charge hundreds for it. I'll make exactly one hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> Putting that idea on Tumblr. No. No, we're not. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> Think of his shaft like the outer curve of your breast. Take his shaft between your open palm and tap it back and forth. Almost. <laughs> the quick movement. 
pants are a fun way to wake up his nerves. <laughs> his ball sack is not a stress okay. relief ball. <laughs> so, all right, we I think we need to we need to Okay, so so Cosmo, don't do this. <laughs> that looks really <laughs> bad. Oh, the sound is worse. Hold on, hold on. We're about to do an ASMR channel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy, that's no. Now this this one I thought was kind of funny. Chew a small piece of mango, then take him in your mouth. You can use whatever fruit you like. Just don't do anything too acidic, as it can burn him. That's mango has a really rough hide. <laughs> Most fruit is really sticky. And I am not and afraid abrasive. of food. <laughs> like, imagine trying pineapple. That's supposed to, like, eat the lining uh. of your fucking tongue. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to stick eat the lining of my fun. Amer <laughs> pull an American buy and just stick it right in a pineapple. <laughs> just... Yeah. There it's, you go. It's, uh, it's exfoliating. That's We're already it, making some better it tips. It's really Sur good surprise, for your skin. Surprise him by cutting open a tomato and dipping his balls in it. Uh, I am n no. Wait. That's the worst kind of salsa <laughs> I could, ever. Uh, <laughs> I could see Gordon Ramsay doing a sex food line. <laughs> All right, now what you want to do? You just gonna, he has children. You just gonna be cutting the top of this off. All right, now you dip your you dip your boys right in there. All right, blend it up a little bit. Just treat them like a blender, puree it, and you got yourself a nice little salsa bowl. <laughs> That's dumb. No. 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 <laughs> the next one. Go hot and cold during oral. Suck in air as you go down and blow out as you come up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Is that getting to Jimmy's up, babe? <laughs> it's not a fucking balloon animal. <laughs> And now we have a nice dog. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm going to make Gordon Ramsay's sex show. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> As you're going down on him, shake your head from side to side, letting your tongue follow the same pattern on an extra sensitive underside. I need your hand again. The only thing, no. <laughs> your hand. The only thing I can see is just, like, yeah, just like tongue and slobber everywhere. Just like, 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 thanks, dear. I wanted to go into a car wash. <laughs> That's what they have ball washers for. No. <laughs> There's such a thing as a ball washer. Bowl. Oh, There's bowl. A bowl. Uh, and you put it in your mouth. Get up with the times. Sorry, I'm still stuck on my Vajazzler <laughs> idea. <laughs> no. And that Gordon no. Ramsay sex show. All right, what you want to do is you want to take a clove of garlic, crush it right on his taint, and you'll be great for the morning. Uh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dip your breasts in edible body paint and use them to sponge paint his entire body, then like, <laughs> I'm why just thinking, stop with the boobs? Just just jump in a big vat. Just jump in a vat of body <laughs> paint. Come out. <laughs> and then just lay on him. <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking is like, okay, so sponge all on him. Like, now there's gonna be edible body paint. What if he's a really hairy dude? <laughs> You're gonna have How to. You... You're gonna have to lick uh, off hairy so... edible body paint off of a hairy dude. Like, what if there's a Grizzly Adams motherfucker who walks in? <laughs> He's got fur thicker than my beard on his chest, and it's covered in paint. 
This is all in paint. So there's a BuzzFeed video on my Facebook no. page yesterday. It was for the Try Guys. No. And they were doing sexy drinks. And one was the body shot where you put salt on the chest yeah. and the lime right here, and then the shot's actually in their belly button. Oh, and go, And yeah. they picked the hairiest boy to do it, and they put the salt on his hair, and they were like, huh, and it's like when a cat licks its butt, and the hair just goes, uh. <laughs> just, I just, I wanted to share that image with you, and I'm going to share that video with you later. That's, but. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Okay, this one maybe... Cosmo still a thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. They still make millions. I'm surprised they don't make BuzzFeed-type videos. Or do they? <laughs> they they make commercials, but they don't make, like, BuzzFeed stuff. Oh, God, if they made <laughs> clickbait videos, they... Oh, they'd be everywhere. <laughs> um, they, they do certain things, like, they do... Now they do more, like, body appreciative videos where oh, okay. they get models of different sizes to talk about what it's like to be a model of different sizes. Uh, but, I uh, figured they'd be doing a lot of like sex tips and stuff though because that's like that's the whole like joke. Not, not in a video though. That's been the joke for like you know a decade or two like Cosmo has weird sex tips for everyone. Some of them work. Some of them actually work. Some of them. But about 50% of them don't. 20% of them are special cases and the rest work some of them want you to throw mangoes in your mouth i mean and then slobber on him from side to side um, <laughs> oh, that hurt my neck. this one made me giggle because it just makes me think of you slip your hand into his back pocket and lightly stroke his butt since it's totally private and hidden from everyone else it conveys your feeling especially attracted to him let me see that butt though <laughs> <laughs> Hidden butt grabber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like regardless of where you are, regardless of who you with, that'd be a really freaky thing. Just not only that, <laughs> like, that's not subtle. You can't just like, <laughs> especially if there's like a height difference. Like, what if your boyfriend was like six, six seven foot. and she and you were five four? You'd be going in like this, like, oh yeah, uh, uh, I'm at the promised lands. <laughs> She'd be a gnome. She'd be a giant. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were made for each other in That's a world that like, didn't accept them. I saw, okay, this is really weird, but I saw it was a mixed dog breed of a Great Dane and a Chihuahua. And I was like, how did the Chihuahua not die? It's got to be as big as the Chihuahua alone. <laughs> the baby was like massive. Tell me it's just a Great Dane with legs this big. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to have to find it again. But That'd be... Like, I can't even imagine them... Like, because Great Dane up here, Chihuahua down here. <laughs> like, how... I don't, I don't know, that's... That, uh, it's that's... like a horse and a sheep, their parts don't line up. No, that's like a horse and a cat. <laughs> parts don't line up. <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> this one's along with the food. Uh, feed each other ice cream in the dark. Not being able to see means more spilling, which means more licking up the mess. That's how you get ants, people. That's how you get ants. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, honey, yeah. Well, looks like the uh, the bed, the sheets, the pillows, the, uh, yep, the blankets. Everything's got to get washed. Everything's got to get washed. <laughs> we got to go like, take a shower because we're sticky as shit. And, like, when it dries, it leaves that film. Like, the worst thing is that I like to sit and eat my ice cream like this. So I, I wouldn't spill it anywhere. I usually just lay on my bed and then just slowly dump it into my mouth and oh. hope I can... It just gets all over your face. Well, you're avoiding the beard but getting it in your regular hair. No, I get it like right here. Like I uh, let yes. the nose catch most of it. Ah, that sugar scrub. Huh? Mm, yeah. Aesthetic. That's really... You want some real tips, Cosmo? Here, find a man with a large beak and beaker. <sighs> Beaky Ben's coming for you. What's the next, next one? Next one. <laughs> As you're eating dinner together. I know why I put this one in here. As you're eating dinner together, say something X-rated like, see how I'm devouring this piece of meat? That's how I'm going to devour you. Yeah. See how I'm slurping down this clam? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
says, please don't bring that anywhere near my magoo. <laughs> See ya. I don't want that anywhere near my genitalia so, of any kind. Like, don't make the face. Yeah, dear. See how I'm deep throating this bottle of wine? <laughs> Well, we now know how you drink. <laughs> really hope you don't do that with wine. Just glass everywhere. Glass that's everywhere. Why you, that's why you get That's why you wine. do it in the dark. So no. it's much more than a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you get box wine. You just lay it on your no, table. Yeah, get a box just, wine and just uh, sit it and just uh, click the thingy and it just pours down your throat. It's so much simpler. So when you spit it out, it's just a cardboard box. Yeah, it's just like sip, sitting in one of those just things. Swill, because uh, box wine never tastes good. Yeah, just it's just like sitting right underneath the fucking tap of a soda thing at a Burger King at 3 a.m. when you're fucking drunk off your ass. Just like... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what you got next? <laughs> this is what someone say to Terry. Use your electric toothbrush or no. your iPhone when your vibrator dies. Like, okay. This is getting my rocks off. <laughs> but like, okay, so the toothbrush has bristles that go like this. So you're like, okay, maybe we don't use the bristle side. Use the butt side, which is usually essentially the size of a fist. Or, no, just like, I think they just mean use like the actual plastic tip on the back. Because it's just But then the other side just... The whole point of the vibrator is it goes in. Oh. So oh. either something's doing this to your genitalia, or... Oh, I thought it was just vibrating It's doing like, it to your hand. Vibrating on it and just, you know... I mean, you could, but yeah, like... That could work. Why wouldn't you just go to the store and get batteries? It's happened, that happens in porn a lot. Next don't, one. Don't act like you don't watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> This one's good, I can tell. Tickle your feet with his nip. Tickle his feet with your nipples. <laughs> Climb on top of him in reverse cowgirl position, then bend over until your nipples teach touch the tops of his feet. Yowza. They had to put yowza? <laughs> like, not even the bottom, just the top? That doesn't even... <laughs> My nipples don't even. I just no. Get your dirty feet away from I'm, my face. That's what I'm saying. Like here, here, ladies, here. Let's ah, oh this, oh this is getting me off. Like, I don't, I don't understand that one at all. I think at some peop, at some point, like the Cosmo people, they just think the first thing that comes to their head, then they just write it in. Like oh, you know, it'd be really good. Not the you tops know, of my feet being tickled. You better you know, not be, touch my fucking feet. You know what would be really good? Heat up a mug of root beer and then cover his balls in it. Yeah. We have no reasoning for this. But it works. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Receive a butterfly kiss to your boobs. To do, he bats his eyelids against the super sensitive undersides of your breasts. Butterfly? Eyelids, not oh. mouth. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> I was trying to make my lips into a butterfly. I'm like a predator. <gasps> I do hey, like this. how you doing, ladies? I like long walks on the beach and a nice meat dinner. Please stop. That's just scary. That, for some odd you... reason, that reminds me of the thing from Hellboy. Like, it has no lips right there. It's just like, it's just teeth. I could imagine, yeah, I could just imagine, like, him talking like, oh, hello, how are you? No. Oh. Yeah. Next one. Yeah. <laughs> this, this one to love. Keep a spray bottle filled with ice water next to the bed and give each other a strategic spritz to extend the encounter. Aim for the nerve-packed, thin-skinned area on each other's bodies, such as the nipples or balls. No. Also, a good tactic to teach your cats. <laughs> to get off shit. <laughs> Why? Why? A fr <laughs> I want a spray bottle now. 
but I'm not gonna use it during sexy times. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait until you're like videotaping and you're like really into it, and all of a sudden all you guys are gonna see is <laughs> just straight to his face. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then you're gonna see a monster manual thrown across the room. <laughs> Good thing it's over there. I'll throw a switch at you then. <laughs> Don't throw the switch, that thing's expensive. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm <throw> vindictive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies, make sure he's vindictive in bed. Yeah. <laughs> you start pinching his shaft, make sure he smacks you with a fish. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Where'd whoa. you get the fish from? <laughs> Where don't you get the fish from? Next one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the best one, which is why I saved it for last. Keep a power brush, a soft scarf, and a baseball on your bedside table. While he's on top, alternate between scratching his back and butt with the bristles of the brush, striking him with the scarf, and rolling the baseball over his skin and butt area. That's, that's, I was gonna say, that's like, <laughs> that's really involved, first off. <laughs> like, when you're going at it, yeah, don't forget to just, yep, grab that brush, just brush, no brush people. And it's then, when, you know, just grab the, uh, here, here's the beard brush. <laughs> just, this is getting you off. Hold on, let me get the baseball. <laughs> yeah, and then, yep, let's just, just rub the baseball on him. Oh, yeah, yeah. He loves it when his butt is rubbed with hard leather. <laughs> Believe me, I know I'm a guy. <laughs> Ladies... <laughs> All like four of you that watch me. <laughs> if you if you want to uh, know how to treat your man right, get a brush. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get some more hot and sexy baseball. tips from Witsy and Lizzie. Yeah, yeah. Use a squid on her. Raw, alive. The Japanese do it. Thank you.